Yo, what is going on? My YouTube people, 29 United back here with another video. And in today's video, I am joined with my dear friend, Arya from Golbezan. Arya, how are you, bro? Good, man. How are you? I'm all right. Um, today, we're going to be predicting the next round of uh, the Champions League games that are coming up on Tuesday and on Wednesday. So um, before we do that, however, I have a couple of stuff to say. Um, if you guys have not subscribed yet, we're very, very close to 3,000 subscribers. That's my goal for the end of the year. If you guys haven't subscribed and are new here, please make sure to do so. Smash that like button, of course. Make sure to follow my Discord and my Twitter. All of the links are in the description down below. And last but not least, make sure to use my code 29united if you want to purchase some mystery jerseys up at mysticjerseys.com. Uh, if you use my code, you get some you get some money off. So yeah, go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, so... For starters, uh, I think I think the last week of Champions League football have been absolutely crazy. A lot of stuff has happened. We're gonna go through all of that. Um, so the first game that I want to touch upon is uh, the the games that are being played on Tuesday. So Paris Saint Germain and Bayern Munich. Uh, currently, you know Paris are winning three two on aggregate. Uh, so what what do you think of that? Do you think Bayern have a way? To come back from this uh yeah i think byron's team is, is strong enough i don't know what the injury problem with Lewandowski is i'm sure you can tell us but um i think if they do have him back uh then i think they can definitely win the game because obviously they had a lot of chances on goal against the uh, psg in that first game uh triple moting is not a striker man he's not the guy to 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 lead your line to to, to score goals but uh, if they can get him back then it'd be really good but I think PSG ultimately with Mbappe, it's, uh, it's such a strong front line. Neymar is look, looking really strong as well, uh, playing as an attacking midfielder. So yeah, I don't know. It's going to be a tough game for them. I think as a Bayern Munich fan, it was very frustrating to see because we literally had what? I think it was 31 shots in total and we scored only two. Uh, it was very frustrating to see. If we had Robert Lewandowski, I think we would have scored a lot more goals. Um, literally, I'm not joking when I'm saying this. This could have maybe been another 8-2, similar to a Barcelona game that we had last year. I am not even joking. A lot of people will disagree, but I truly believe if Robert Lewandowski was playing that game, it would have been game over for Paris because we had so many chances and we wasted most of them. And it's just very frustrating to see. Uh, we were dominating the whole game. Um, and you said you said Chupo Moting isn't really the person to lead us. He was doing okay. He did score a goal. He's he's not bad. Um, but you're ultimately you're right. He's not as good as you know if Lewandowski is going to be there. But uh, I I don't think Lewandowski is going to be fit um, for the next game, which is a big loss for us. Um, so realistically, we're going to have to try and beat a very good Paris side without him. And uh, yeah, uh, score predictions. Uh, I I don't know. I think it will be. I think PSG will win uh, two one. I'm a Bayern Munich fan, so obviously I have to back Bayern here. Um, I I have faith in my team. I always have faith in Bayern. Uh, we have that winner's mentality. I think I think we're gonna pull this one through. I would say two nil for us. Two nil. All right. So the next game uh, is Chelsea versus Porto. Uh, we're both Iranian, so we do have a lot to say for this game. Um, so 2 0, Chelsea won the game pretty comfortably. I didn't see the, the game because I was watching the Bayern one, but uh, Chelsea won the game pretty comfortably. Mason Mount scored, Chilwell scored a very good goal, and Porto didn't really seem too great. Do you believe they can they can turn this around? Maybe. I mean, Porto. I think I think they're they're not strong enough. I mean, they have a good team for a Portuguese side coming into the Champions League, but when you look at the quality that Chelsea have and and I think how well they've been doing over the last couple of months with their new coach uh, I just don't think they have the quality you know even Taremi I think Taremi can obviously impact the game and I know they'll have Sergio Oliveira back as well but it's not like I don't think those two just those two players are going to make a big difference uh, but again you know and also they're, they're going to play at Stamford Bridge so again it's another disadvantage for Porto but uh, not, not to be too negative I just don't think they can get the result uh, away from home yeah I agree with you um, I, I don't think you're good enough to win I'm going to say that Porto is going to score one but Chelsea is going to win the game two to one um, I think Taremi can score a goal hopefully he does score uh, that would be very very good for not only Porto fans well not really Porto fans mostly just Iranian I think we all want to see Taremi score a goal after not seeing him play last game 
But um, yeah, my score predictions. I think it's gonna be two one Chelsea. Um, so yeah, what about you? Yeah, I would. I would. I think I would agree. I think it either be two one or one 0 I think it'll be a fairly close score. I think Porto will do better in the second leg, but uh, I don't think they'll be able to win the game. I also forgot to add. You know, Kai Havertz is someone that I watch a lot, um, and I was very disappointed in his performance uh, against against Porto the last game. Um, he wasn't very good. Now we just have to see how Thomas Tuchel is going to play him. Uh, he's been he's been all right at the striker spot uh, in in other games, but uh, it, just in the Porto game, he just seemed very lost. Very, it was very weird to watch him. Uh, from what I've seen from him, of course, um, as I said, I haven't watched the full game, but from what I've seen, Havertz hasn't really been the best. So um, we'll see what happens. So um, so those are the games on Tuesday. We're now going to move on to the Wednesday games, and this game is a very interesting one. Um, it's a game where I 100% have no clue what can come out of this. And that is the Liverpool game and the Real Madrid game. Uh, two teams that are struggling um, in, in, in their leagues as well. Real Madrid has been a little better recently. But Liverpool, I think we all know since the Van Dijk injury in the beginning of the season, they just haven't been good. They're struggling in the league and... Um, to be honest, it's a, it's, it's a surprise for me that they're even in the Champions League so far. Um, but, you know, no disrespect to Liverpool. They're a great club. But, yeah, this season they've been hit with a lot of injuries. And it's unfortunate for them. Very unfortunate. 3-1 uh, on aggregate. Vinicius Jr. scored uh, a very, very good goal as well. Um, and Trent Alexander-Arnold, I have to include this in here. Um, he wasn't great. Very, very bad performance from him. So, yeah, 3-1 on aggregate. In my personal opinion... I just don't see Liverpool coming back with the with the way they've been playing. I don't think so. I think Real Madrid will comfortably win this two nil. But but uh, you know again with Liverpool, it's a team that you just never know. We said the same against Barcelona a couple of years ago, and they did the comeback uh, of the year that year, right? Um, but yeah, what about you? What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I I actually, but I don't have that sympathy that you have with them. I honestly don't think that they. Uh, they use the transfer market correctly in the summer. I mean, yes, you could say that it's not their fault that you know they have um, all these injuries at centre back. You know, with Matip and Gomez and Van Dijk. Yes, but I mean, for me, Matip and Gomez aren't the best defenders in the league in Premier League, for example. And they should have signed someone that's good, high quality centre back, somebody like Kulibali or I don't know, someone at a high high level. But they didn't. They, they they stuck with their, their their ones that they've already got, and and now they're stuck with um, Kabak and uh, Phillips. You know, and those two are not good enough. Simple as that. So I mean, I think it's their fault that they went and then they didn't really buy anyone in the summer, and they were forced to buy Kabak. You know, so that's the problem that I think that that uh, Klopp has faced this season, and also uh, Andrew Robertson. Uh, you know. As a as a Scot as from being from Scotland, I'm obviously I'd like to see him. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to see him play badly because obviously he's a national team captain. But I honestly haven't been impressed with him, man. It's, even for the national team for Scotland, like I, I don't know what I mean. I get what everyone was impressed with him last season, but this season, in my opinion, Roberts has not been a good had had a good season. Um, and I don't know. I, I really hope that he can improve. So score predictions? Uh, no, nah, I, I think I think Real Madrid are too strong. Uh, Tony Cross is unbelievable, man. The the way he can control the game. I don't see Finaldum and Naby Keita being able to do that, for example. So I think I think, I think Keita got injured. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Thiago came on, but for me, I think um, I think Cross uh, with that kind of midfield that he got. I think they'll win the game comfortably. I think two, two or three nil. Last but not least, um, Dortmund versus Manchester City. Manchester City are winning two in on aggregate. Um, which, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with Dortmund. Um, and you're not going to hear me say this very often, because well, obviously I'm a Bayern Munich fan, but I, I thought Manchester City were going to go in and score five goals. If I'm being honest with you, with the form they've been in, but it's two one. It's not over for Dortmund. Um, they have won. I think I think the game is played uh, in 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 Dortmund, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong here, but it's two one on aggregate for Manchester City. I I think the possibility is there for Dortmund. Um, obviously, I don't really like Manchester City that much um, because of you know their history and all. It, they're they have good players, but just 
I'm not really a big fan of their club. Um, and I want Dortmund to go through. Uh, it, a lot of people are going to be shocked at me saying that, but I really want them to go through because I, I don't want to see Manchester City lifting, lifting a, a Champions League trophy. It just doesn't sit right with me. I want Haaland to go for as well. I'm a really big, I'm a really big fan of the guy. Um, but this game is very similar to the um, Madrid and Liverpool game. I just don't think Dortmund are good enough to come back. Uh, well, I said come back. They're only one goal down, but I don't think they're good enough uh, to beat Manchester City. I think City are going to go in. They know what they have to do. And, uh, you know, City are ruth ruthless, man. These guys do not care. Uh, Pep Guardiola, we all know this guy. He's he's the type of guy to just tell the team, go there, destroy them, and that's it. That's all. The game finishes. Um, so I think City will go through uh, as much as I don't want them to. I think City are going to win this. I, I'm going to go with a another 2-1. What about you? I'm not going to lie, I didn't watch the game uh, between City and, and Dortmund, but I think that, I mean, for me, I don't think that the defence in midfield of Dortmund is, is strong enough compared to the midfield and defence of uh, Man City. Simple as that. I think they've got a very strong team. Uh, you know, they, I know they have Holland, I know they've got uh, Marco Royce and all these players, but for me, it's not enough, you know. I, and if, if Holland was playing in Man City I think they would probably win a Champions League you know uh, but I think that Chelsea will win the, um, sorry I think Man City will win this game uh, quite comfortably I, I, they should win this game comfortably in my opinion um, and I think they will let's say 3-1 funny enough you were mentioning Haaland um, he wasn't really present in the last game if I'm being honest he wasn't really there Marco Royce obviously did score that goal. and obviously let's talk about um a big part of the game. I don't know if you've watched the highlights, but Jude Bellingham got robbed off a goal. And if I'm being honest, it should have ended 2-2. Dortmund deserved to go away with something there. Uh, if, if you haven't uh, seen what happened, basically Jude Bellingham uh, got through on goal and uh, somehow got the ball from Ederson and tapped it in. But the ref said it was a foul and he also got a yellow card with that. Um, so it caused a lot of controversy on Twitter. I personally believe that it was a, it was a valid goal. But the referee didn't think so. Um, so you also got to remember, if City do manage to get away with that, Dortmund are going to be very, very mad with how the refereeing has been uh, has been done. So, um, yeah, but that's a conversation for another day. Uh, so final thoughts on uh, on just all of the games? Um, I don't have any final thoughts. As well. Basically, I think that for me, out of all those teams, um, I think that the, the winners uh, are PSG. I think PSG can go all the way and, and win this uh, win this uh, this competition. Uh, I also think that uh, Chelsea can do quite well as well, uh, but I don't see the other teams are at that level, you know. Yep. All right. Um, so you think Paris can go all the way? Chelsea can go all the way. Chelsea can go all the way. If I'm being honest, they can go all the way. You're right. Yeah. I mean, look, Man City are a good side as well. You know, they're top of the league. Uh, in England, they you know they've got a, a solid solid team. I think it's, we're winning. I think I think we're playing Man City, by the way. Yeah, I, I you know that will be a tough a t- another tough test for them if they do get through. But I don't know, man. It all depends on if they if they can get Lewandowski back. Um, you know they, that's that's the guy. You know they, they, Dortmund have Holland, uh, PSG have Mbappe. You need to have um, um, Robert, Robert Lewandowski back as soon as possible. All right, well, so that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out Arya uh, at Gorbazan and his personal account. All the links are going to be in the description down below as well. He's a really good guy. Uh, go subscribe to his channel and all. Let me know you guys' predictions. Uh, if you disagree, agree with what we've just said. And um, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Arya, anything else? No, no, not much, man. All I want to say is um, if you're watching the game between Chelsea and Porto and they want to, they did want to do something before it, then check us out on Instagram uh, at Goldbazan. We'll do an, a live show before the match. Yeah, I'll be uh, there as well. So yeah, if you want to watch that, then check us out on that. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Damn, I'm on red alert. Else you went up in the dirt, man. I don't wanna hurt, man.